So, our story begins with one of the scariest phrases a married man can hear. Mike, did you eat all the ice cream? Surely my dog would stick by my side during this difficult time. So much for man's best friend. I had to think of a plan, and fast. How could I satisfy my wife's craving for ice cream without having to run to the supermarket? Hey, I know chemistry. Surely I can think of something. I went to my fridge to look for supplies, something I could use to make ice cream. Half and half? No, that won't cut it. What else? Heavy cream. Perfect. Now, what else do I have? Salt. That'll work. And, to make it taste good, vanilla. Jackpot. My wife's favorite. So while you watch the procedure to make ice cream, let's just talk for a second about what it, ice cream exactly is. It is just that cream that is iced. Basically, the idea is to take the cream and get it cold enough to a point where it'll form into a solid. Now, in order to do this, you have to bring it to a temperature that is below the normal temperature of ice, which is why you see me adding salt here. I'll explain the chemistry behind this later, but when you add salt to ice, the temperature becomes colder. So, what you need to do is take the bag of cream, add it to the salty ice, and this will allow it to get super cold. As the cream gets cold, it'll gradually become a solid. So after about 10-15 minutes of shaking, you'll start to notice that ice cream is being made. So before we look at the finished product, let's take a look at the chemistry behind this experiment. As you can see, the normal freezing point of water, the temperature of ice, is 0 degrees Celsius. But in order to make ice cream, we need to bring the temperature lower than that. So what we need to do is make a solution. A solution is one part solvent, which is water, one part solute, in this case, salt. The reason we do that is because anytime you add a solute to a solvent, the freezing point becomes lower, allowing us to bring the temperature of cream to a point that is lower than ice. Now according to this equation, we can calculate the exact freezing point of our solution. We take the freezing point constant, which for water is negative 1.86, multiply it by molality, which is the amount of salt in our solution, and multiply that by a thing called the Van t Hoff factor, which for salt, NaCl, is 2. So for our experiment, I wasn't interested in calculating the exact freezing point of the salt and ice solution. I just wanted to make ice cream. But we could have. Say, for example, I weighed out 50 grams of salt. The molality of that solution would be 3.4. We would multiply that by the freezing point constant of water, which is negative 1.86, and then multiply that by the Van t Hoff factor of NaCl, which is 2. That means the change in temperature of our freezing point would be negative 12.6 degrees Celsius. So the freezing point of water is decreased by 12.6 degrees Celsius. Okay, enough chemistry. So let's see how our ice cream turned out. As you can see, the once liquid ice cream has gotten super cold and has congealed. It's a good idea to rinse some of the salt off so it doesn't end up in your food. So, all that's left is to put it in a bowl and grab a spoon and enjoy.